pollution of air and water learning about pollution of air and its harmful effects Recently we all heard the news that Taj Mahal in Agra is now one of the seven wonders of the world but do you know that the beauty of this monument in white marble is being threatened by air pollution in the area surrounding the Taj let us find out if something can be done to fight the air and water pollution our environment has changed with changing lifestyles Our elders talk about the blue sky, clean water and fresh air that was available in their times. But now all we hear are reports on the failing quality of the environment. We all have experienced the impact of the falling quality of water and air in our lives. The number of people suffering from various deadly diseases is steadily rising. air pollution we can survive for some time without food but we cannot survive even for a few minutes without air this simple fact tells us how important clean air is to us let us take one cockroach in a jar and close its lid such that it becomes airtight after half an hour we find that the cockroach is dead This activity clearly shows that air is essential for living. You know that air is a mixture of gases. By volume, about 78% of this mixture is nitrogen and about 21% is oxygen, carbon dioxide, argon, methane, ozone and water vapor are also present in very small quantities. You know how air gets polluted? The substances which contaminate the air are called air pollutants. Sometimes such substances may come from natural sources like smoke and dust arising from forest fires or volcanic eruption. Pollutants are also added to the atmosphere by human activities. The sources of air pollutants are factories, power plants, automobile exhausts and dung cakes many respiratory problems are caused by air pollution let us now try to find out the substances or pollutants which are present in the polluted air have you noticed how rapidly the number of vehicles is increasing in our cities vehicles produce high levels of pollutants like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide Carbon monoxide is produced from incomplete burning of fuels such as petrol and diesel. It is a poisonous gas. It reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of blood. Have you ever observed a thick fog-like layer in the atmosphere especially during winters? This is smog which is made up of smoke and fog. Smoke may contain oxides of nitrogen which combine with other air pollutants and fog to form smog. The smog causes breathing difficulties such as asthma, cough and wheezing in children. Many industries are also responsible for causing air pollution. Petroleum refineries are a major source of gaseous pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. It can cause respiratory problems including permanent lung damage. Other kinds of pollutants are chlorofluorocarbons (CFCs) which are used in refrigerators, air conditioners and aerosol sprays. Chlorofluorocarbons damage the ozone layer of the atmosphere. The ozone layer protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. Now, efforts are being made to use less harmful chemicals in place of 
chlorofluorocarbons. Case study The Taj Mahal Over the past two decades, India's most famous tourist attraction, Taj Mahal located in Agra, has become a matter of concern. Experts have warned that pollutants in air are discoloring its white marble. So, it is not only living organisms that get affected by polluted air, but non-living things like buildings, monuments and statues also get affected. Many industries are located in and around Agra, some of them like rubber processing, automobile, chemicals and especially the Mathura oil refinery have been responsible for producing pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide which react with the water vapor present in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid. The acids drop down with rain making the rain acidic. This is called acid rain. Acid rain corrodes the marble of the monument. The phenomenon is also called marble cancer. Suspended particulate matter such as the soot particles emitted by Mathura oil refinery has contributed towards yellowing of the marble. The Supreme Court has taken several steps to save the Taj. These steps include switching over to cleaner fuels like CNG, compressed natural gas, and LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. Moreover, the automobiles should use unleaded petrol in the Taj zone. Greenhouse Effect You know that the sun's rays warm the Earth's surface. A part of the radiation that falls on the Earth is observed by it and a part is reflected back into space. A part of the reflected radiation is trapped by the atmosphere. The trapped radiations further warm the air. We can observe greenhouse in a nursery or elsewhere. In greenhouse, the sun's heat is allowed to get in but is not allowed to go out. The trapped heat warms the greenhouse. The trapping of radiations by the Earth's atmosphere is similar. That is why it is called the greenhouse effect. Without this process, life would not have been possible on the Earth. But now it threatens life. Carbon dioxide is one of the gases responsible for this effect. You know that carbon dioxide is one of the components of air. It plays a major role in plants. But if there is excess of carbon dioxide in the air, it acts as a pollutant. On the one side, carbon dioxide is continuously being released because of human activities. On the other side, area under forests is decreasing rapidly. Plants utilize carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for photosynthesis and thus decrease the amount of carbon dioxide. Deforestation leads to an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the air because the number of trees which consume carbon dioxide is reduced. Carbon dioxide traps heat and does not allow it to escape into space. As a result, the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere is gradually increasing. This is called global warming. Other gases like methane, nitrous oxide and water vapor also contribute towards this effect. Like carbon dioxide, they are also called greenhouse gases. Global warming causes sea levels to rise dramatically. Global warming could result in wide-ranging effects on rainfall patterns, agriculture, forests, plants and animals. Recent reports suggest that we have only a limited time period to keep the greenhouse gases at the present level. Otherwise, the temperature may rise by more than 2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century, a level considered to be dangerous. Global warming has become a major concern for governments worldwide. Many countries have come together 
and have reached an agreement to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. The Kyoto Protocol is one such agreement. What can we do to reduce air pollution? There are many ways by which we can fight against air pollution. For example, a few years ago, Delhi was one of the most polluted cities in the world. It was being choked by fumes released from automobiles running on diesel and petrol. A decision was taken to switch to fuels like CNG and unleaded petrol. These measures have resulted in cleaner air for the city. There is a need to switch over to alternative fuels instead of the fossil fuels for our energy requirements. These could be solar energy, hydropower and wind energy. Small contributions on our part can make a huge difference in the state of the environment. We can plant trees and nurture the ones already present in the neighborhood. Summary Air pollution is the contamination of air by impurities which may have a harmful impact on the living organisms and the non-living components. Pollutants are the substances which contaminate air and water. Carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, carbon dioxide, methane and sulfur dioxide are the major pollutants of air. Increasing levels of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide are leading to global warming. That is all in this subtopic. Let us learn about water pollution in our next topic. Enjoy learning!